my name is Julia von Willer. I'm a linguist. I did a, a PhD in linguistics and when I graduated I took a job here at Sydney University in the electrical engineering department uh, in the uh, speech technology research group. One of the very first things that aid workers do and the very first ones to go in is that they have to find out what is the situation, whatever is the most immediate need, so it's called needs assessment. There are translators and it's wonderful if you have them, but again, because these languages are small, because there's been a disaster, the translator themselves might have been actually killed or hurt in a situation. Whereas if we have handheld devices that the responders can use, then you're saving time. You're not letting, having to wait for someone to come. It doesn't mean that you've got two or three days when people are in need. These need to be picked up very, very quickly. And if we have the devices that can do this first phase, then what we will do is build into the other domains uh, and, and take over other aspects of the disaster response. Hi, my name is Tony. We're an advanced team sent in to assess the problems you're having. When did you have your last meal? When was the last time you had something to eat? Are there lavatories here? What are you using for going to the toilet? Is all your family here with you? Is anyone here injured or sick or on medicine? Do you have enough water for all of you? What kinds of foods do you eat so we can prepare food stocks? The key challenges in this project were driven by two needs. Firstly, that the project needs to be completely offline, that we don't have any internet access in the field. Um, and secondly, um, that the, the project needs to be expandable to really any language. Given those two needs, we sought about trying to find appropriate technologies to, to meet the three core speech related tasks. That is speech to text, speech recognition, machine translation, um, and then text to speech synthesis. In the process of building out the Subwano models, we've essentially put together a recipe for how we will develop each of these technologies for a new language or for a new domain. Currently we've got just a couple of short tests to yes. show that it actually works on the Android working its way through. So I'll press this button here and this will show where your voice has gone. So okay. first off we'll press that button there and it's going to come up with a, uh, an audio transcript of what you actually said. Okay. And there it is. How many people are here with you? Yes. Which is what you said. So now I stop it, say that that's okay, and it's now going through the translation system. Okay. Okay. And it should come out over there okay. pretty well. And made, there's not you know. a limit to the number of these that you can produce now that the software's been developed. That's right. Okay. Exactly. You can actually have the software as a bundle and then you just move it onto a device. Okay. 